If you want to get between downtown Tampa and St. Pete, your only options are the bridges and, of course, the traffic that comes with. What if you could ferry across the water instead? Brightside reporter Josh Sidorowitz mm. is here. And Josh, the Cross Bay Ferry plans to motor on again. Oh, well, it could, yeah. I mean, it turned out, obviously, to be pretty popular during the six-month trial run that ended last year. But, well, as with everything, somebody has got to pay for it, right? And still some do question whether it's worth the cost. All right, here's the deal. Uh, St. Pete City Council and the Hillsborough County Commission, they have already approved setting aside money to get the shuttle back up and running for another six months starting this fall. Today, Pinellas commissioners will vote on funding, but whether the city of Tampa will commit, that's still unclear. All four have to agree to fund the ferry, which during its last run cost taxpayers about $1.5 million. About 10% of that cost was recouped. Tampa's Mayor Bob Buckhorn, he has been the project's biggest skeptic, pointing to the fact that it was mostly popular for weekend recreation trips, not weekday commuter trips. Unfortunately, if you were hoping a return of the ferry would mean maybe an alternative to dealing with those bridges specifically during the morning rush, well, you might be out of luck. Last month, St. Pete Mayor Rick Reisman told Hillsborough commissioners that a new run would not offer early morning shuttles, at least, at least not initially. But that said, uh, weekend rides, they were extremely popular when this was running during the 2016 and 17 season. Mayor Kreisman told us back then that they were surprised to see more residents riding than tourists. We shall see if the city of Tampa and Pinellas County sign on to give it another go around.